Mary Kate, today you're going to talk to us about freezer paper. We are going to talk about freezer paper. Um, you and I were at a quilt show yes. a few months ago, and we were demonstrating um, a lesson from our, our easy lesson from our October November 2014 issue, which in, uh, we called it a mixed media art quilt. It was a very cute little project that involved freezer paper. Yes. And when we were showing it to people, we would just jump in and say, well, you cut this from freezer paper and you would hear it down. And there were a number of times where people would stop us or they'd kind of get a glazed look. I mean, and I don't hold it against them, but they'd be... They had no idea. They didn't know what freezer paper exactly. was. Exactly. Or what it was used for. So we thought, let's just kind of talk about the basic basics here. So these are, I traced on the paper that's been used many times, as you can see already, um, a couple of leaves from my aspen tree. And then I took freezer paper and laid it on top, shiny side down, yes, matte side up. Just lay it on top. And you can see, if you might want to use a light table or right. a window, but even so, if, you're, if your lighting is pretty good and your eyesight is pretty good, you can, you can see through that. It's right. transparent enough. And just trace your shape, you know, with right. a pencil or a pen, whatever works. And then cut it out with, with, with paper scissors. And you can cut as much detail into that for this application right. as you want.